Anos Voldy Goat is back, and oh boy, we got a brand new arc, and I don't know what's going on as usual. Well, the most important thing is that there seems to be a separate group of uh, old, you know, uh, the people that we try to basically cut out, but then they were looking like a cave with like a dragon, and it's like, oh, you know, it, it's like the extremist, right? But then Anos is like Anos Shu now, and he kind of got recruited by that guy, and he's like, oh, seven year old kid, you're such a genius, come along with us. And then basically, he ratted himself out, right? And then we have them under control, and they're gonna rat themselves out. I think that is pretty much tied off. I wonder if they're going to actually go more into the story with that kind of faction. But it seems like that was just like a quick little thing that we're going to do to just clean up the rats. And the focus is going to be... The creation of the sun? The sun god? The moon god? I don't fucking know. Let's watch the today episode. You got us. Which one is this guy? Do I remember him from season 1 and 2? Ah, goddess. Is he one of like the, the demon king emperors or some shit? Igarasu is the kid? The kid that we saved? The kid that we went back in the past to tell that kid that we killed? <laughs> Wait, we, we killed that kid, but then... It's that kid though, right? That like, we went back in the past and we spread the rumors and he said, wait for me and then yeah, yeah, okay. So he's got like this for him too, that's pretty cool. That's right, and we're sending Emilia Sensei to the Hero Academy. <laughs> a week later. This Gatoma staff? Why is this character getting so much spotlight right now? She's the most in it magic user in the class, and she used Gatoma. Is she someone that we know? We don't. Is this a new character? Is this the same thing as like Matsushita in like Code? Or like other side characters that was never touched in season 1 and 2 and it's like OH! Side character you didn't know about? Here it is! Bookworm Naya. She reads a lot. She's got the greatest potential? Really? Erumaid is actually a great teacher. He's so enthusiastic. Honestly, if you have a teacher like this, someone that's actually so genuinely interested in his own job and it makes it exciting, the whole school is like, it's, like, it's just fun. It makes me actually want to go to school. Emilia? Where's Emilia? <laughs> Listen, I fucking hate the heroes, dude. This fucking kid sucks. They all fucking suck. But there's something so funny about them. These kids just talking shit at a substitute. She's not a substitute teacher. But it's like, you know when there's a substitute teacher and they get no respect from the classroom? And it's just like, shut the fuck up, Tensei. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, here we go. I know she is, though. What's he gonna do? Presentation? Okay. He's right. He's so right. I mean, last season, or sorry, season one, that is last season. They were fucking cheating, bro. They were fucking. They were cheating, right? I, I forget. I think it was pretty unfair. Also, did they just say kid? Like, you're a kid too. Like, how the fuck are you gonna say, what is that kid doing here? This is a literal kid. Also, did his voice actor change? In season one, I don't remember his voice being like this, but then again, that shit was almost like two years ago. That I watched, anyways. Even the dice they're cheating with, bro! We gotta get a six. <laughs> you can't just... So did he just boom? And then have the six just be embedded like that? No shot. Six. You said it yourself. Easy. No, we asked you for the rules. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Bro, you're on cam right now. Mike is tall, huh? What do you mean only a one should have come up? I know she never misses, bro. <laughs> Erdome 
is the biggest hype man for Anna Chu, bro. Every fucking episode is Erdome just gonna say this. He's like, this is the Messiah. Bow your heads, you ungrateful humans. Behold the child prodigy. Oh Let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's the creation goddess again, right? What are we pulling out? Creating sword you can't pull out. I don't know if you pull out game week. Should we watch it again? That was a lot of fucking yapping, bro. That was, that, 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 it's a fucking riddle. She just shows up out of nowhere and she's like, huh, the true almighty can create a sword. Yeah. But if you're so almighty, then you should be able to pull it out is pretty much the idea. Yeah, you need to be able to create it. A can do B, but that means B can do A. But if A can't do B, then B can't do A. Well, basically, if you're, on the, if you're the almighty, you should be able to create a sword that, that can't be pulled out. And if you can't pull, create a sword that can't be pulled out, you're not the almighty. Therefore, we, dis, we, we identified what the almighty is. But if it's a sword that cannot be pulled out, you need to be able to pull it out. Then you are the almighty. But you created a sword that cannot be pulled out. So it's like, even if you can pull it out or can't pull it out, are you really the almighty is pretty much the idea. Yeah. Well, it's like you're fucked regardless. It's like we've already proved that if you want to be almighty, you got to make a sword that cannot be pulled out, right? The foundation is set. But at that point, if you pull it out or not, you're fucked regardless. So like, what then? Do we pull it out while not pulling it out? Dig a hole around the sword and then pull the sword out so that it's not pulled out, but it is pulled out. You know what I mean? Just like dig a hole around the sword and pull the hole out. Yeah. But if you pull it out, that's supposed to be a sword that can't be pulled out. Too many pulling out. Bald! Okay. Really? Y'all got no police or you want you, you want to send students? Uh, the subs are bad there. I think she's say like uh, ask the office. Ask the office for more details. Crunchyroll, get your shit together, man. I thought he was bowing to, you know, I know for a second, but no, it's Hiro Kanon who is, you know. That look is still sinister, though. Lei doesn't want to go home. Yeah, he's chilling here. You want to go play in the water? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go play in the water with this 10-year-old kid. He's insulting us! Oh, glasses, hold up. The other cannons, they're kind of standing up. Talk your shit, other cannons! Wait, 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 they have a genuine hero? So why don't you send your genuine hero? So like, little recollection from season one stuff. These are other canons, right? Different sources that's been split. So they're not really canon, but they're like pieces of canon. But apparently, Mr. Baldy here has his own genuine hero, which is another canon. The real source. I don't know. I mean, oh, the genuine hero just means Ray. I mean, Ray's right over here. I thought like they're talking about someone that's not in this room. Are they not cannons? I thought season one, they were like, these are fucking cannons. It's just not the full cannon. It's just like pieces of cannons. But now you're telling me they were never cannons from the beginning. So season one just straight up lied to me. I don't know what you guys are. I, I, I thought these motherfuckers were cannons. But apparently they are normal reincarnations and they are not cannons and they are a lie which episode did they discover that was that the end of season one was that at the end of season one when they said like oh like how was it discovered what the fuck like who said it out loud like oh yeah by the way these motherfuckers <laughs> they're, they're not actually cannons bro <laughs> anos eleonore uh, end of season one Ray has seven sources. And if Ray has all seven sources, then how could it be possible that each one of these would have a source fragment of Ray? 
therefore math, it doesn't work. But these motherfuckers just lied? They straight up just fucking lied, dude? Did they get told to lie? Or did they individually just roleplay as hero canon the entire time? This is getting even more hilarious. They were lied to- Okay, okay, they were lied- Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm like, if these kids were straight up role-playing as, you know, the hero cannons, that would have been fucking sad, but the school lied to them to hype them up. Got it. <laughs> right, right over here. Impersonating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently the school, f you didn't you? Then you must have had a part in telling these kids that they were canon then, you right? Yes. I thought we're not heroes. What is it? Actually, we are the Hero Academy. Emily? Wait. Is she gonna win the respect of these kids? True. She's kind of right. Because the whole thing here is like, oh, if you call yourself heroes, stop being a fucking bitch. Put your life on the line. But Amelia's kind of right. This is all bullshit. This is all for the sake of calling them heroes so you can make them do what you want. Cancel the hero school. Now it's called human school. Emilia actually spit in truth? This Baldi came out for a fucking war today, man. Holy shit, he's fighting everyone. Oh my god. Deserved. Deserved. <laughs> Let's go, Megane! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We can't just, like, start fucking up the Baldi, though, right? He's kind of high up. Then again, you know, back at our demon school, when Erdomaid was Nosgari, a heavenly father, Anos did fuck him up, and he went back to teaching. So, like, maybe we could do the same shit here. <laughs> he runs pretty fast, man. <laughs> Because she took all that heat and the insults, and now she's like, damn, if you're gonna fucking step in and put a sword to his head, why did you do that before I got insulted, bitch? Maybe, I don't know. You're like half, right? <laughs> Disgusting halfy, is that what they're thinking? <laughs> I thought that she would win the respect. I mean... At least the kid is very aware. Well, it's like, Emina, you're fucking shit. <laughs> it's like, well, not that we're one to talk. At least the kid is aware. I thought Amelia would, like, be aware. Like, I thought she would gain the respect of the Hero Academy right now when she's talked, you know, on behalf of them. But it's gonna take a while, right? This redemption, this is an entire fucking arc, you know, towards her development. So, we gotta let her cook. How do I reach these kids? Y'all see that South Park episode where Cartman's a teacher? Uh, we're at a fancy restaurant. Is that tuna? <laughs> While we go to a fancy ass restaurant, Emilia Sensei is trying to open her canned tuna lunch right now. Is is that is that what she's doing? And she can't even open the canned tuna. This is so sad. Please. Invite her to the restaurant, please. I feel... Oh my god, this is terrible. I know you please invite her. These tuna cans are beating her up, bro. I know she riz. Oh, if your demon, it doesn't open? I see. I know she riz. <laughs> Ten-year-old kid riz. Child prodigy riz. Oh, holy... <laughs> is Amelia... What? Was she always this funny? This is what I'm talking about. This is peak misfit of Demon King Academy comedy. Straight out of nowhere, sometimes this shit's just funny for no reason. That's why I bought a whole year's worth of canned food. Because I can't talk to other. <laughs> Damn, it's Bakunari an entire year? <laughs> yeah, life's not fair. You know what? The and she doesn't even know, right? And she doesn't even know that the person in front of him is the person that puts you in this predicament. But technically, I'd, I'd argue, Emilia is the one that actually put herself in this predicament. And this is her redemption arc, right? Season one, she was an absolute bitch. Evil, despicable character. But part one, season two, at the tail end, you know, she's learning. And now this is the redemption.
What are you blushing there for? What? 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 Grown ass fucking woman. Grown, grown ass fucking woman. What are you blushing there for, huh? Huh? This is not reincarnated as a seventh prince. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna share some. Oh. Yeah, my finger's dirty. You gotta you gotta lick my finger off. Amelia, my finger's dirty. Okay. Okay, she has to clean this up. Sarcastic? No way, Sensei. Who made you turn like this? Okay. Honestly, Amelia telling someone that she doesn't really know all this story. Like, like this is like her honest truth, right? This is what she actually thinks like. Because she she would never tell Anos this, but if it's a complete quote unquote stranger, then like this is her actual honest opinions of herself. Okay? Rightfully so. You can be, I feel like. Kids don't respect you at all. Damn. It was actually me looking down at myself. This is like internalized discrimination, right? In fact, I don't know if some of you might know it. We don't have to get so deep into it, but like if you are like a minority and you're in like a predominant group of a certain race and they feel that they're superior and you kind of accept it and you live in that environment for a long time, you start to like internalize this hate into yourself to a point where you can't even recognize that you're discriminating against yourself. And then finally, when you're out of that environment and you can finally discover who you are, you start to realize that, holy shit, I hated myself the entire time because of that reason that's fucked up. Okay, that's the first step to rehab, right? You're admitting though, you're acknowledging. She just needs a little bit of inspiration. This gotta be. <laughs> what are we doing? Emilia, I know she. Re what? Are we. Are we vibing? No, this is, this is just wholesome time, right? This is just wholesome time. Emilia just fed the fucking Demon King, bro. Are we going to eat lunch every day together like this canned food? Aww. This fucking guy can just do anything, can't he? Of course he can. You forgot your bikini sisters. Don't worry. I can do it. Here. Here. <laughs> GG, I get the girls, but like, that's crazy. You gave Lei a fucking speedo thong like that, Anos. Anos, bro. <laughs> hey, he looks good. Lei looks good. I was just expecting like, you know, like boxer briefs and kind of shorts, but like, that's crazy. Bro gave him speedo. This actually is way too cute. <laughs> bro, just give me a scene of Ray just say, do I look good while doing a zoom in the speedo? <laughs> Lei is the one showing the most skin. What are you talking about? What? Oh! <laughs> Guys, remember, what did he just say? His entire thing is, this is not just swimming suit. This is the ultimate practical application to increase the, the hydro, the fluid dynamics during swimming. It's because if you have a speedo, right? Then like, you can fucking swim. Stand up? What? What? What do you fucking want? You think I won't stand up right now? You think I'm gonna get bricked up? You think I'm gonna get fucking bricked up over Anos and fucking Lay? No. 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 Now, if I had a speedo on and I actually got up there, that would have been peak content. If only I could have anticipated the speedo scene, bro. <laughs> Holy shit! That's an Olympic dive! <laughs> Why is this so epic? <laughs>
peak misfit fucking comedy. Oh, we have a Delphi throne? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 some of the fucking the Velda something sort. That shit is unironically pretty adorable and cute and very funny. Remember, there's 10,000 Zetsias, by the way, underground. See, the difference between this show and I was reincarnated as the seventh prince is in this show, when Anos turns into a Shoda. They have the decency to make the Speedo into, you know, a full shorts because we don't want to do that to, you know, show us, right? But in Seventh Prince, <laughs> I guarantee you they would have kept the kid in the fucking Speedo. <laughs> she said the line! She said the line! Did you think that because it was a tight fit, we three couldn't sit together? She said the fucking Demon King line. Classic. Classic Anos. Okay, okay, okay. That's cute. Oh. I will protect you. Oh. Uh, talking tree. Mirror magic. I forget. Did we see an application of the mirror magic last season or the last part? I completely forgot. <laughs> the 10,000 that should be right. underground. Oh my god, Lei. Oh. <laughs> Yo, please change, please change into Avos right now. Give me dark Misha. Enough of light mode Misha. Give me dark mode Misha. And I get the bikini color would also change to like purple or something. <laughs> Don't let Shen see this. <laughs> Don't let Shen see this though. <laughs> 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 Why? Where did he come from? Why is he? I'm not gonna lie. This show, comedy, sometimes it's even better than Konosuba for no fucking reason. It's not even a comedy show, but sometimes, I swear to God, bro, this shit's funnier than Konosuba. Oh my God. Then I'll give you my blessings. Does Lei have more defined cheeks than Misha? He might. Yo, Lei might actually have more cake than Misa herself, bro. I I I think so. <laughs> the trying to get father's approval of running gag is Yo, Shin, show me a fucking say a sword technique. Damn. <laughs> Is Phoebe's swimmer? What situations would you have where Lei needs to be a better swimmer than you for her to fucking live, bro, from the sea if it came to that? You're thinking of 0.000001% scenarios, theoreticals, bro. Alright. It's a tie, I think. <laughs> oh, one more lap. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's going on? Huh? Kingdom of the Dragon God, Ahide Arobo Agatse, Cardinal of Giort, the Cardinal of Giort, so many fucking names, but okay, Dragon Affiliated People. Ahide Arobo Agatse, Selected Eight, there's a new group called the Selected Eight, and he's an oracle. Oh no, he's Anoshi, what do you mean? Selected God. It's her, it's her, we saw in the intro! 
Hello again. Kami o shokan suru ma shinpan no ba anos boldi gold. Anata no kami o misete moraimashi. Do we have a god? What if he just says I'll represent myself? He's like, nah. He's like, care. Where's your lawyer? I will represent myself here. We're one of the selected eight? Is this because of the memory problems he had? In the trailer, Ano said there was something like, I lost my memories. And then there's also like a Onisama kind of moment, right? Like Ano's little sister or some shit. Selected eight. Another god. Eh? But Miritia is the girl that she looks just like her, and we were talking to her long 2,000 years ago on the stairways, right? And about how she had a sister. Um, um, uh, maybe different girls. He looks very familiar. I don't know. Is this her sister? Is, is Arkana Miritia's twin sister? Oh shit, here he is! The real Anos is here. Did you really think that the power of a mere god could surpass that of a demon king? God damn! Almighty Equus. Damn, preach! Equis just sounds like the overseer of all this. <laughs> what are these punches, bro? Yo, his hands like going all dark. Blocks, and then just penetrates her right through the chest. Know your place, lowly god. So there's a selected eight, then there's the goddess of selections. She knows, she knows her strong. Yeah, yeah, what is that? Wait. We, did we penetrate or not? It's kind of obscure what's going on here. It doesn't look like he penetrated. It looks like his arm just disintegrated while trying to reach Arcana, right? I thought that he penetrated for a second, but like the hand here, the animation. What, what is this selection shit? Yeah, look, his hands. Selection exam, what is it? No, no, there was the hole there though. Selected eight. So it's, it's, so it's like an ascendancy to God. Humans can become a God, but we're technically a demon. We're not really a human, but basically any, any race achieving Godhood. Sorry. In this show, you have royals, and you have... No, 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 you have elite royals, and you have commoner peasants. But they are all demons there. And then we have the human side, and there's also elitism, but they're all human. So, doesn't that mean, like, this is just for human side? Because we are technically demons, but at the same time, mortals. Mortals is a better translation. Got it, got it. It's not really humans. It's, it's, that's how a mortal ascends to godhood. Equis is, I guess, the top god or some shit? And the representative is selected, and the representative for the Ahide guy is Arcana. There's a selected candidate, and then there's like a selection goddess for or god for that selected candidate. The selection god, and Arcana is a selection god in this instance. One of the selection gods. One of the, it's gotta be Militia, right? Mil, 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 the only god that we know, other than Heavenly Father, Nosgaria, right? It's Militia. Militia was in the interesting. She must be the one that selected us. It's probably some kind of place where all the selected people go to talk. Underground world. This afternoon. This this afternoon. Were we talking? Is, is it a cutscene? Is I have a quite the question you asked this afternoon. The Almighty. Oh, right.
right! The almighty sword. You gotta make a sword that cannot be drawn. The, the conundrum. The, uh, right, right, right. Searching for the answer. And maybe the answer is something just as stupid as how Anna solves things, which is just like, you know what? If you if you got a sword that cannot be pulled out, but can be pulled out at the same time to define what an almighty is, watch him do some stupid shit where he pulls it out and puts it in the same time so fucking quick. It's like, holy shit, he did it so quick, it's like the same thing. Ending. Very suspicious. And that is today's episode. What a fucking episode. So we are basically at the Hero Academy now. And we're doing some collab shit. But Emilia, it's, it's basically Emilia is here to gain the respect of these kids. Because this is part of a redemption arc, right? So Emilia's redemption arc is going well. A very interesting question proposed by Arcana that showed up out of nowhere. Just being like, hmm, pull out, don't pull out. Almighty, almighty, pull out. Almighty, don't pull out. But if almighty don't pull up, but can pull out, is it really almighty though? I'm sure the resolution is going to be some stupid, funny answer. Like how Misfit of Demon King Academy does. Maybe he'll like fucking... Again, like, draw a circle around the fucking sword that's been implanted into the ground. So he pulls out the fucking sword with the rock embedded in it. Therefore, you pulled it out and didn't pull out at the same time. Basically, the Almighty is someone that surpasses the imagination and can think of solutions that's outside the box in a very funny way, which I think suits Anos perfectly. Baldi here, so fucking annoying. It's funny, though, how Baldi and the humans are just kind of fighting, you know, the kids. And Emilia also gets shit on at the same time. I wonder how Emilia will be able to gain the respect of these kids she'll have to definitely put her own skin on the line to save the kids or something right it's not gonna be just through talk she needs to do it through actions and show that she actually does care for the kids but i'm not really sure how that's gonna happen emilian anos just eating tuna and canned tuna together and bread was a scene i never thought would happen there were some deep moments about how the person that really hated herself was emilia herself this is like all internalized discrimination but also very cute moments of emilia just like feeding us and like you know we're like rizzing her up like what the fuck is going on right now swimsuit part of this episode is fucking peak a bunch of dudes and speedos fucking shin shows up continuing the fucking running gag of you know you must defeat me if you want my blessings to take over misa right and you know class is gonna that shit being cute as all hell. And at the very end, we're getting to the meat of this arc. What is it? It is the selection exam god stuff. Basically, there are these eight selection gods and goddesses that's going to pick each host to see if they're worthy or not. And we're going to get more answers later. And the riddle at the very end. What does it really mean? She's in search for something. Maybe the one true god and Anos is that person. Who really knows? But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.